We continue to meet the candidates running for statewide election here in Louisiana. We're focusing again on the Secretary of State's race. Joining me now is Nancy Landry. She is the first Assistant Secretary of State for the state of Louisiana. Nancy, thank you so much for joining us here on Twyla. Thank you for having me, Avery. I really appreciate it. Well, first, let's get into your background a little bit. We mentioned that you're the first assistant at the Secretary of State's office right now under Kyle Ardwan, but you served some time in the legislature and grew up in Lafayette as well. I did. I did. I, um, I was actually born um, in Japan on a naval base. My dad was in the Navy, and uh, but I've lived in Louisiana since I was five years old. I grew up in Lafayette. I graduated from LSU and from LSU Law School and I had an award-winning family law practice in Lafayette for some time before I decided to run for the legislature. And then I served three terms representing Lafayette as a state representative in the legislature before um, I termed out. And when I termed out, um, Secretary Ardwin appointed me as the first assistant secretary of state, which means I'm the second in command there. And I've done that for the past four years. What was it like uh, in the legislature? I mean, I know you represented some folks involved in agriculture there in District 31. I did. My, my district included not just Lafayette Parish, but also a large portion of Vermilion Parish at the time. And so I did represent some sugarcane farmers and rice farmers and soybean farmers from the area. And um, I learned a lot about agriculture and agricultural issues and worked hard to fight for um, the issues that they cared about while I was um, serving in the legislature. Now, if memory serves me correct, uh, you hold the position that Kyle Ardwin held at one point. He was the first assistant uh, That's right. at the Secretary of State's office. What made you decide that you should run for this position? Well, um, I want us to be number one in election integrity in the nation. And we're often at the top of bad lists and the bottom of good lists. But that's not the case with elections. We're actually, um, we have a lot to be proud of about elections in Louisiana. We do them well. And we've been ranked number six in the nation by the Heritage Foundation and number one in the South by the Electoral Integrity Project. And the legislative auditor gave us really high marks for our election integrity policies and procedures. So um, we can be proud of how we do elections, but I think we can do even better. And I want us to be number one in the nation and I have a plan to get us there to number one. What is that plan? So the, the main priority I have is I want us to get a new voting system. We vote on really old machines that were manufactured in the 90s. And so we, we really need a new modern system. And I would like us to have a new voting system that has a paper backup to it. And that's best practices now. Most states have that. And the only reason we don't have it is because our machines are so old. So I'd like us to have a system that has the best of both worlds. It has um, the efficiency and accuracy of technology, but also the paper backup so we can verify those results. And the voter can verify the accuracy of their vote. Because I don't trust anyone like I trust you to check the accuracy of your vote. Also, the Secretary of State's office is very involved in business. Tell me a little bit about your thoughts concerning small businesses and what the Secretary of State's office can do for them. That's right. I mean, most people think of elections when they think of the Secretary of State's office, but we also register all the businesses in the state. And since I've been at the Secretary of State's office, we've worked really hard to reduce the burden of regulations on small businesses. We've implemented the Small Business Protection Act, so we have more transparency about burdensome regulations, more opportunity for the business owner to um, get word about those regulations before they're enacted. And we also moved forward this year with a portal on our website that would allow small business owners to weigh in on what uh, regulations are burdensome and to suggest alternatives to those regulations. So we've worked really hard to make um, our, our um, website a one-stop shop for small business owners. And I know that um, farmers are small businesses and they, um, they would appreciate those small things that we do to help ease the burden on regulations. So what other issues do you see there being facing Louisiana that the Secretary of State's office can tackle and what, what do you see as the solutions? So we also, another priority of mine is that I, I want to ban the pr um, use of private funds to conduct elections. We saw in this last election cycle some outside groups who came in and tried to um, use private funding to manipulate the results of the election. And 
An election administrator should never accept private funding to conduct an election, and so that's something that I will pledge to work on to make sure that um, we don't have any private funding in elections. We have actually a constitutional amendment that will be on the ballot this fall, and we helped um, work, we worked with the legislature to try to get that passed, and we hope that that um, passes this fall. Um, I also want to clean up our voter rolls. We have, um, you know, tools to clean it up now, and we do a good job, but uh, we, would, we would like some additional tools to use to um, clean them up even more, and we asked the legislature to do that and give us that authority this session, and three years in a row they passed legislation to um, give us the tools that we needed to clean up the voter rolls even more, and three years in a row that legislation was vetoed. So we're... We're, um, you know, going to keep trying, and we, um, I think as Secretary of State, I can work with the next legislature and with the new governor to make sure that that legislation passes and that we can have even cleaner and more accurate voter rolls, because who doesn't want that, you know? So why do you think uh, the voters of Louisiana should choose you over your, uh, your competitors? I'm the only candidate with the qualifications and experience to move this agency to the next level, and I want um, to be the next Secretary of State so I can make us number one in election integrity. I'm a licensed attorney, and I, um, I'm a certified election registration administrator, so I have the qualifications and experience to hit the ground running for the 2024 presidential election. And the presidential preference primary is just two months after the new secretary takes office. So we really just can't afford to have somebody who needs on-the-job training. Well, I know you've been doing a great job there. Thank you so much. She Thank is you, Nancy, Nancy Landry. She is a candidate for Secretary of State and the first Assistant Secretary of State right now. Coming up after the break, we'll have a Twyla boost to make you smile. Stay with us.